Anything that makes AMD a larger part of the broader ecosystem, whether it be like, I don't know, uh, office intelligence or enterprise or data center strategy means a great deal. And the semiconductor company this morning is announcing a deal to buy privately held Pinsando for just shy of $2 billion. And this is exactly where they have to be in order to make it so that Nuco, the Xilinx and uh, AMD, are no longer just PC. And joining us now exclusively to explain is AMD chair and CEO Lisa, Lisa Sue. Lisa, thank you so much for coming on uh, Squawk on the Street. It's great to see you as always. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Carl and David. Great to be here with you this morning. Well, I think this acquisition is, again, a sign of where the company's going. It's very high, uh, high let's say, uh, high intelligence. It's more exciting, I guess, but it's also most importantly in the fastest growing area of the world, which is high performance computing. So can, can you tell us where you fit into it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, look, today's a very exciting day for AMD. Frankly, it's been a very exciting few months. Uh, we just closed our Xilinx uh, acquisition about six weeks ago, and that integration is going great. And we're having a, um, a significant amount of uh, synergy there with our joint customers and portfolio. And then this morning, we're announcing uh, the uh, acquisition of Pensando. Pensando is really, you know, one of those uh, form, uh, foremost pioneers in, you know, this whole data center area. You know, they've thought about how the data center services uh, would be used um, in the future. They've built um, a incredible hardware and software distributed services platform. And this is all about, for us, Jim, doubling down on the data center. You know, with our portfolio now across CPUs and GPUs and the Xilinx FPGA and adaptive SOC portfolio and with Pensando, um, this is a fantastic portfolio for the most important customers and the most important workloads um, in the world. I'm so glad you brought that up because I think there are a lot of people in the last few weeks have misinterpreted what AMD's up to. Uh, really just uh, thinking that you're doubling down on PCs, uh, that all you care about is gaming. Now, th those can be good businesses, but when I look at this new mosaic after this and after Xilinx, I think you're probably 50% uh, non, uh, well, let's say 50% 50 new co, uh, new AMD, and 50% old co, and that, 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 that pastiche makes it so you're a much faster grower and by a better, uh, higher margins. Well, we are uh, definitely uh, focused on growth, Jim. You know that. We've, we're coming off of a very strong 2021 um, growth story where we grew 68 uh, percent. We previously said um, 2022 is another strong growth year for us, um, over 30 percent in the organic business. And what we see is there is a continuing need for more compute. You know, high performance compute is the fastest growing, the most exciting part of the um, of the industry. And we have all the components for it. So, of course, you know, we, we love our traditional, you know, PC and gaming uh, markets. But the data center is the most strategic area. And now, you know, when you look at our portfolio across, you know, AMD, the Xilinx portfolio, the Pensando portfolio, when we bring it in, you know, the largest customers, you look at, you know, customers like Microsoft, you look at customers like Oracle, um, you know, IBM Cloud, they've already adopted um, Pensando. We're very uh, much engaged with them across um, the AMD portfolio. Um, Xilinx also brings a great um, set of customers. And so, yes, uh, you know, strategically, I think you're going to see a lot more from us in the, the data center and, and really the embedded markets.